welcome back to another episode on EAFC 24. <clears throat> and in today's episode, like I said, well, I haven't said anything actually, so I don't know what I'm on about. But we play champs. We've got four games in this video. Obviously, you know I only show you the wins, so you shouldn't be like, oh, you're spoiling it already. Because you know I only show you the wins. Because why do you want to see me lose? You know what I mean? It's pretty pointless. I don't have time. I don't have time for that. So... As you can see, we are seven and one. I think we went like six and one, and then we won another game to go seven and one. So yeah, we we went six and zero, oh, lost one. Now we're seven and one. It's pretty decent, I can't lie. But we are just looking to try close out eleven wins. But you guys know, the past three weeks, I went eight and zero, oh, and I've ended on eleven wins, sh like struggling to get eleven. So. Hopefully, we can get 11 more comfortably this week. However, this week is quite sweaty. We have to come back from a couple goals behind in two of the games. And, of course, we do it. And Janola, what a hard carry this week so far. Got to give props to him. But if you guys do enjoy the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. We are on about 130 subscribers now. We're pushing for the 200. So let's see if we can get there. And I will see you guys in the gameplay. And we get into the gameplay for game one. This guy was a half Man United pass and present, half not, with a Man United badge. I'm not quite sure what this guy was up to. But this game was a tough one. I think this is the game we come back from like two or three goals behind. It was quite a tough game. This guy was quite decent, but I literally... Like, logged on at about 8, 7, 8. Played champs. Not even played a game all day and just hopped straight into champs. Like, what am I doing? We missed that chance there. He goes 1-0 up. We bottled the corner. He's sprinting down with foot birthday Saka. I've caught him up. He's done a couple nice skills. Then a, a weird fake shot. I'm still on him. I've pulled Essien out like an absolute idiot on second man press. He does get back in position, but he gets a goal there with future star Zidane, or foot birthday. Foot birthday Zidane, I believe. No, it is future star, yeah. Dyer misses that header terribly, may I add. So we're still sat 2 0 down at the half hour mark. Only 30 minutes played, and we're two goals down. There's a, not much ahead loss, a little bit. That slide tackle with Essien would just kind of stop his counter. Well, we've intercepted the ball and Cole Palmer's going to play a ball through to Cecenia. He's one on one practically. He's going to take his time, slow it down and score the Traveller. That puts us 2-1 and now we're back in the game. George Best is going to try and make something happen here to try getting back to the two goal lead. He sends my Kanji, but Eric Dyer, what a player. Oh yeah, I forgot to say actually, we completed Eric Dyer um, and he's actually quite solid. I know you're saying don't do showdown SPCs, but we've done Sergio Roberto and we've done Mukiele as well, just because I, just, I don't know, I just wanted to, I was bored. But we get another goal there with Ginola and that is just to start with Ginola. That's one goal. We have Cecenia. Ginola trying to jam his way through, but he can't. And we've already made the two-goal deficit to a no-goal deficit and a draw. And it's looking in our favour here as we attack with Cecenia. Puts his player on the floor. Ginola with the step-overs. Fake shot. Oh, how's he done that then? What a goal that one is. David Ginola. What a player. I'm actually starting to get to grips with this card. And he's actually crackers. It's unbelievable. But... That is not where we stop. 70th minute. Janola tackled by, I want to say that's company. Akimic puts Saka on the floor and shows him what's going to happen in the UCL on Wednesday night. And Janola, a little bit of jam, but that near post finish is so underrated. You need to do that shot, I swear to God. And that is practically the end for this game. We're going to header it back and he's just going to have a head loss quit. And we take that game 4-2, sorry. And I think we're 4-0 after that game. 
So for game five of the weekend league, team of the group stage, Mbappe, Bronze, Rijkaard, couple nice players. But overall, I think we beat him in terms of teams. And this again was another tough game. I think another game we had to come back in. But hopefully we can make a successful comeback, should I say. As this guy starts off a bit possession based. This guy switched the ball so many times. Oh my days. He just switched, 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 switched. Like it was literally left to right, left to right. It was absolutely appalling. Like he's so boring to play against. But a couple words on Eric Dyer, right? He don't know why he's so big in game because he's not like that in real life. But he's absolutely quite sick. I can't lie. Cole Palmer's breaking through with his rapid plus or quick step. I don't know. Rapid and gets a goal. I don't even mean to do that, by the way. I was dribbling. I wanted him to stop, but he didn't. And look, that's taken us all the way to half time. Is where we've cut to here. Like this guy was boring as anything. He just. He just loves to switch. Love the switch. And he's going to get the ball to Bruno here. And he's going to score another goal. Which is brilliant. Now we're on the back foot against someone who barely attacks. And now João Felix. We've brung him on. Cecenia. Lovely bit of step overs. And look. The near post finish. No one does it. They try to cut it back. Just, just shoot bro. It goes in. 60th minute, 2-2. Someone needs to take the game here. We've brung on Zola for a bit of pace. I was going to tell you bring on Werner, but we bring him on a little bit later on. Zola, though. Bit of R1 dribble. Great bit of tackling. Janola, another touch. Shoots. And I believe that's... No, it's not the hat-trick. I don't know, but he's scoring so many goals. It's unbelievable. Janola again. Misses wildly, I must say. It's a bit unlucky. I powered it up just a little bit. I tried to green time it, but I forgot. I didn't take my finger off the button enough, so it powered it up a load. It's a bit annoying. But Rolfo will tackle the ball, give it to Werner, and look, power shot, near post. <laughs> Three near post goals this weekend. And that's going to be another 4-2 victory from... Well, it's not two guys behind, but we... We were behind most of the game. And this guy just like paused it all three times being toxic. He was time wasting. Just flinging it around. Just like, all right, mate, that's fine. I was just pressing him to make sure that he doesn't try anything up our end. And he, we do get that victory. And that is 5-0. and oh. I think now this is game six. Yes, it indeed. Incredible team, by the way. 94 Vidic. He's got Vinny, Ice, Neymar. Quality team. Very, very nice team. And let's see how we get on in this game. Essien with a good tackle. Gives it to Ginola. Can we make something of this attack? No, we can't. We get pocketed a bit by Nesta there. Ice, Neymar with a bit of nice dribbling. And Ian Wright is quite deadly on this game. Putelaz to... A I don't even know. He's got a shadow on Vinny, lads. How am I losing this game when he's got a shadow on Vinicius Jr.? We've brung on Werner straight away for Palmer. We have dropped Palmer. Look, we're in the 66th minute, by the way. Just deep it. This guy was boring as anything. He just didn't attack. He just, like, just passed it around the midfield. But we give the ball to Ginola. Strike, son. What a strike. But yeah, it's fun. Uh, Palmer will be dropped. He is just not good enough. But we have decided to put Werner back in the team because he did really help us in these couple games. So he's earned a spot back in the team. And we've also brought on Felix to help with his Evo and because he is just a good player for me in general. We're just biding our time here. A few step overs. We see space with Rolfo. And David Ginola, in the space of two minutes, we now have turned the game around and we lead. And again, it's Ginola. I'm telling you, bro, I'm getting to grips with this guy. Me and this guy are deadly put together. And we're not even going to cut the clip again because there's going to be something else shocking that happens. Another goal to be scored 
Will it be him or will it be us? Dyer with a great challenge. I run into a bit of trouble there with Ian Wright. And yes, Dyer has just managed to get back into position. He gets sent by Vinny. He didn't mean that, you can tell. He literally turned. But Dyer was gone and wasn't there. And that is going to be that. Hopefully, now, 85th minute. Can we grab something out of this game? Can we at least avoid losing in the first 90? Going to go for a cross here with Cafu. And Cole is apparently now 6 for 8 because he blocked that cross. Even just with his chest, not even with his head. We take our time with Carlos here, waiting for Rolfo to make a move, waiting for someone to find a bit of space. We have Cecenia, step overs, see you later, son. And uh, what a goal, Cecenia. He's actually ridiculous. Like, I thought he was just going to be a muck around Evo, but he's actually jokes. Like, he's actually quality. Look, those step overs were, like, incredible. Just cut, like, six players he went through. Cut a defensive line of like six players in half. Literally hot knife through butter. Felix will intercept and this guy stopped playing. We are going to get the win and that is 6 and 0. Oh. That's good for us but this is game 8. We do we did get a loss in the game just before this to an absolute crackhead. Like This guy was ridiculous. But game 7, no game 8 for 7 and 1 actually. And this guy had Mascherano at the back. I was very confident in this game. I'm not going to lie. He had Mascherano at the back. And Marquez. He didn't have a lot going for him. And he literally had one shot all game. And this was the shot. Uh, a devastating goal, should I say. As you see, Palmer is on the pitch. We pause it and he comes straight off. And you can see Werner batting in there with Xavi. We also, we just like, we put in Kimmich for some games. We had Rodrigo for some, Werner for some, Felix. Like, we just used whoever. And again, look, near post finish. No one, you know what I mean? No one knows. Use the near post finish, man. It's, it's OP. Rodrigo gets the goal back. Fully evo as you can see. Ginola, Essien gets tackled. But we pick it up with Kimmich. But that ping pass is so good. Cecenia, it's a bit of jam. And Timo will slot that one home for us. Putting us 2-1 up at just about half hour mark. And this game's going swimmingly. I can't lie, this guy's not good. He's he's a bit like, he's rushed when he attacks. As you can see, look, he just didn't need to pass it there. He could have carried on dribbling. Essien intercepts though for us. And Rodrigo will start the attack. Just trying to just trying to buy some time. Let, the, let our players get up the pitch. But David Ginola, what a strike, son. What a strike, David Ginola. And that is 3-1 up first half. Timo Werner is going to beat his fullback and Makalele for pace. Just about. He's going he's he's to win it as well. Cecenia, a bit of an awful, awful pass. Cecenia wins it to Ginola. Back to Cecenia. An assist for Ginola. A goal for Cecenia. And that is going to be 7-1, and one, a 4-1 rage quit. See, this formation scores a lot of goals. 4-2, 4-2, 4-1, and what was the other one? 3-2. But this guy does just dilly-dally around. He pauses it, plays again, pauses it again. Then he does eventually quit. And that is it for the Foot Champs gameplay. We're 7-1, and one, and tomorrow you guys will see... The rest of our foot champs games but for now that is it and we are heading into evos to chuck in our showdown winners boost number two and this one gives two shooting and two physical so because of the double shooting we decided to finally get an evo up on our boy felix oh, just what a card 95 pace 95 dribbling 93 shooting 91 passing like hello that's like a team of the year card. Like, you're joking me. Yes, I'm taking that. 100% taking that card. I think this order's a bit muddled up. I think I claim Rodrigo, like, after I've opened packs. Which I know is stupid order. I apologise. But it's just where, where I put the clips in, if I'm being honest. Um, I did say that due to fodder purposes and some SBCs that are coming out, 
We are due a showdown for Man City and Real Madrid because every other UCL team has one at the moment. So I kind of I'm going to open the 83 tens. I'm going to save Wednesdays, Thursdays, and then Fridays 83 tens, or just Wednesdays and Thursdays. I'm going to save champs rewards. I'm going to save rivals rewards, and I'm going to open it all. On live tots this Friday you might be like oh why would you do that because then I'm just gonna craft more and then save more you know what I mean like what do you mean why am I opening for live tots I'm gonna open for every tots and I'll make sure to save more for prem tots like I'll open what I have saved this week for live tots then it's community tots the Friday after or the Monday, I'm not sure, because I know they're doing like a release on Friday, then a low league on Monday for every week. Because I know Prem Tots is like on the Friday, then on the Monday it's like Championship, League 1, League 2 Tots. So they do like a big league Tots on the Friday, and then a, a lower league team on the Monday. So, again... Whatever happens, happens from EA. But I will open... Whatever I have saved throughout the week, I will open for the certain amount, like the certain tots. But I can't lie. I might just open loads of packs for live and then not many for community. I won't save for community. Then I might save for Prem Tots. But then again, with Prem Tots, there's no Chelsea cards unless Palmer gets one. But everyone's like, oh, Pen Merchant doesn't deserve. So... Palmer's probably not going to get one because not many people are going to vote for him because apparently he's a pen merchant. Like, again, like, do you expect Palmer to miss penalties? Salah scores penalties. You know what I mean? Man United score penalties and Palmer's a pen merchant. Just, they're just a bit salty and a bit upset. Your players were idiots. Your fullbacks gave away penalties. That's not our fault. You know what I mean? Our wingers cooked you. <laughs> I can't say much more than that, but there's no odd feelings. You know what I mean? Whatever happens, happens. I do hope Palmer gets, like, a mentions or a live tots, a community tots, a prem, just a tots. I just want him in team of the season. I just want to get him red. You know what I mean? He's going to be Hullet Gang. He's going to be, like, crazy. His future star card has, like, 77 defending or something stupid. His in form has 72 defending. His tots will be like nearly 90 in every stat. Maybe mid to low 80s in defence and then that is it. Like his card will be insane and people don't want that in the game. What's the point? I thought everyone cares about meta over who actually deserves it in this game. Hence why team of the year is all over the shop. But that is the end of our 30 player picks. Not too bad. I decided to split our player picks between... Well, our golds between player picks and the e-figs upgrades. Um, so, yeah, we're still able to do like 70 e-figs upgrades. So, we're good on our golds. We've got Mookie LA unlocked. Looks like a beast card. Not too shabby, if I'm being honest. And just looks alright. If not, a bit of fodder. Then we go and unlock ourselves. Bit of cannibalism there. Inform Sergio Roberto into Sergio Roberto. But, yeah, Roberto is unlocked for us there. That is our second showdown. And the final one that we are going to do. But, yeah, it looks like quite a nice card. And to finish off the episode, we do something that you've already seen, and I apologise. It's claiming Rodrigo's Evo. If you guys have enjoyed, please make sure to like and subscribe. We are close to 200. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.